If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. It's a new month, so here I come bearing very bad news about GTA Plus once again. Shortly after the expanded and enhanced release on the PS5 and Xbox next-gen consoles of GTA Online and GTA 5, Rockstar thought it was a great idea a week later to release or announce their new subscription service to GTA Online called GTA Plus. And I'm not even going to go into much detail, but it was totally not worth it. You got a few hundred grand here and some big discounts on things you don't need. It was really, really targeted to towards new players, but even towards new players, it's not worth it whatsoever. I do not support GTA Plus whatsoever, and if, if you're one purchasing it, hopefully it's for the liveries or the, 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 the cool uh, clothes or whatever, but if you're a new player and you're thinking about buying GTA Plus, and if you're watching this video to make that decision, do not buy GTA Plus. There are plenty of ways to make money in, in GTA Online. <laughs> K.O. Perico. But anyways, let's talk about how GTA Plus for July has officially crossed the line and has made the game more pay to win than ever. Let's go back to April though. Some of the GTA Plus benefits were really simple. It was a uh, like five or six hundred thousand dollars in cash, and you got a bunch of discounts on a bunch of useless crap. Cool. You got some double money or triple money for some jobs or some events that were okay, I guess, but um, it has progressively gotten worse. And I believe back in April is also when they released early access for one of the vehicle's house special upgrades which allowed these gta plus players to get those upgrades a week early which is kind of insane to think about nobody likes exclusives or early access content for the certain players like how xbox 360 used to get call of duty updates or dlcs faster than ps3 players nobody liked that nobody thought that was cool whatsoever it didn't go well early access never went well sorry i digress but now here in the July GTA Plus benefit month, Rockstar dropped an absolute banger on them. Yeah, they're getting their money's worth, the GTA Plus members, but it's pretty, pretty sad to see as a veteran GTA Online player. Their first reward of the month, the most important one, and I think is insane, is that they get diamond loot from the casino heist 100% of the time. Diamonds were meant to be some special event week or event weekend sort of thing that they did on a holiday. And I've, I personally never have gotten diamonds. I just haven't done the Diamond Casino enough during those event weeks. But um, to give away this special event for absolutely practically free, I mean, it's six bucks a month. Yeah, but I mean, just to just give it away, what was once pretty damn special is kind of sad to see. And they also save 50% of the heist crew cuts in the Diamond Casino heist. So if you spent 30% on the cars, the weapons, and the hacker or whatever, you got the most expensive ones, for example, it would now be cut down to 15%, which it honestly should be the number already. But, I mean, to be able to save that 50% is quite a bit of cash you'll be saving yourself for a GTA Plus online member. Caprico is still better, but I mean, you'll be making a little bit more cash overall. These next two benefits have to do with the contract DLC and the VIP contracts. With the VIP contract preps, I don't remember exactly which missions those are, if it means the free roam runs or the ones where you actually had to go into a lobby and like, you know, go to the locations and find Dr. Dre's phone or whatever. I can't remember which is which, but those are quadruple money and RP. So I don't even think you'll be getting paid any much more money. Maybe you're making 40 grand instead of like eight or nine, 10 grand. So it's not even that worth it. Pretty, pretty pathetic. But the next one is pretty good. The VIP contract finale, which normally play, pays out one point or sorry, $1 million will now pay out $1.5 million with a 1.5 times bonus 
on the VIP contract finale. And GTA Plus members for the month will be getting double cash and RP on time trials, which is also pretty insane, as well as 40% off casino penthouse decorations. They only get one discount this month, and it is not even worth it, but the rest of their benefits this month are absolute bangers for the most part. These members also get a free car, the Locust. I don't remember if that's a decent car or not. As well as they also get a free casino penthouse, which saves you quite a bit of money as well. Though all those benefits are pretty damn amazing, especially the permanent diamond loot for the month, as well as 50% off the heist crew cuts on the casino heist, is pretty damn good, but then again, you need a second player or friends in general just to do the heist switch with, uh, which I don't have. Rockstar is slowly and surely making GTA Plus just more powerful at this point, but there was one thing that they also did mention is that I mean, this could be hoaxes, you know, take this with a grain of salt, I should be saying, is that the GTA Plus bonuses are lasting until July 18th, so they don't even get it for a whole month, which unfortunately I was saying throughout the whole video, but I actually read more into it, but they don't even get it for a whole month, it lasts till July 18th, and then the new DLC could possibly release on July 19th, which I believe is a Tuesday, so that's a possibility for the next update is July 19th, so keep that in mind as well, that the GTA Plus membership benefits will be running until the 18th instead of the entire month. Which leads me to my next point is that these this new DLC, GTA Plus members could be getting further benefits for. For a brand new heist, they could be getting early access to this heist, or early access to this DLC. I should I should be saying DLC because we don't know if it's a heist. We don't know anything about this DLC yet. But GTA Plus is becoming more and more pay to win and it is becoming just more and more crappy to the average veteran GTA Online player and just GTA Online player in general. Nobody wants to fork over six extra bucks to get early access to things, especially if it's going to be DLC. I have this weird feeling, I have this fear that GTA Plus is going to start getting early access for DLC stuff, whether it be cars, weapons, the heists, the missions, the businesses, the contracts, whatever it may be. I'm starting to have this feeling, this weird itch that it's just going to be a possibility. Maybe not this month, maybe in December they will. Or maybe next year who knows but gta plus is slowly and surely becoming worse and worse and worse when it comes to pay to win and just you know being shittier and shittier with that being said though i hope you guys enjoyed please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications i'll see you guys in the next one and of course i would like to hear your thoughts down below in the comments as well peace